So I'd like to remind people that while wearing a non-medical mask, such as a homemade cloth mask, hasn't been proven to protect the person wearing it, it can be an additional measure to protect others around you by preventing your respiratory droplets from contaminating others or landing on surfaces. It can be particularly beneficial uh, when shopping for essentials or using pu public transit. If you do wear a mask, ensure it is well fitted without any gaps and avoid adjusting it often or touching your face. Please also be mindful that masks can become contaminated on the outside when touched by hands and should not be shared with others. So as the Premier said, we have enlisted the help of Brenda Earls, an infection prevention and control registered nurse specialist and a valued member of our public health team at the Department of Health and Community Services. And Brenda is going to help demonstrate. So before you put on your cloth mask, make sure you clean your hands either with soap and water for 20 seconds or you can use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer as Brenda is doing. Masks can have ear loops or strings to secure them. We'll start the demonstration with an ear loop type mask. When your hands are clean and dry, pick up your mask by the ear loops. Touch your mask as little as possible. Pick up one loop and place it over one ear. Then place the other loop over your other ear. Now is the time for you, adjust the, for you to adjust the mask to make sure it is over your nose and pulled down underneath your chin and is completely covering your face as much as possible. Some cloth masks have a wire to tighten it over the nose. Remember, once you have adjusted your mask with your clean hands, avoid touching it again while wearing it. You have to be very attentive and not touch your face or the mask. This helps to stop the spread of COVID-19. Also, you must keep your mask on while you're talking to others. A common question people ask is when you should remove the mask. So you should take it off when you can maintain social distancing and you can clean your hands and have a safe place to dispose of your mask for washing. So first, clean your hands as Brenda is doing. Then remove your mask, only touching the loops. Don't pull it off from the front and throw it directly into the laundry or if you are not at home, into a bag designated for that purpose. Clean or dispose of the bag when you get home. Then wash your hands again. And now we will demonstrate for a mask with ties. So as Brenda has just done, first clean your hands. Hold the mask by the top strings. Place it over your nose, then tie the top strings behind your head. This takes a little bit longer. Next, tie the bottom strings behind your neck to secure. Now is the time for you to adjust the mask to make sure it is over your nose and pulled down underneath your chin and completely covering your face as much as possible. Again, some ma cloth masks have a wire to tighten it over the nose. Once again, it is important to remember to avoid touching your mask or face while wearing it. To remove this mask, clean your hands. Untie the bottom strings first. Next, untie the top strings. Again, don't pull it off from the front. Hold it by the strings and throw it directly into the laundry or if you are not at home, into a bag designated for that purpose. Clean or dispose of the bag, then wash your hands again. As a final note, please remember that wearing a mask is not a replacement for the proven public health measures of proper hand hygiene and physical distancing. Please continue to adhere to those measures. Thank you for the demonstration, Brenda. And Premier, I turn it back over to you. Well, thank you, Dr. Fitzgerald. And I will say that Brenda is uh, one example of so many great people that we have working with us, you know, largely behind the scenes and supporting the work that we're doing. 
on your behalf. And what a great tutorial today to show us how to properly wear a mask.